Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Before we get started with the video, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. When Skillshare reached out to me, I was so, so excited because I've used Skillshare myself to learn video editing. For those of you who don't know about Skillshare, it is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in video editing, crafts, design, and more. To step up my video editing game, I took a few classes on Skillshare to improve my skills. So if you're looking into making your own YouTube channel this year, I would totally recommend checking out a class on Final Cut Pro X or iMovie. I also want to mention that Skillshare is like super affordable. An annual membership is less than $10 a month. With their premium membership, it gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are right for you. Skillshare was super kind enough to offer the first 500 of you a free two month premium membership trial. So if you use my link in the description box, you will get two months for free. So be sure to check out the description box for all of the details. And now for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some really cute miniature school supplies. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so first off, I'm going to be making a miniature notebook. The first thing you want to do is download and print out this template. I'll have a link for it in the description box. So I went ahead and I cut it out using a pair of scissors. And these are going to be the pages of the notebook. So I'm going to gather them all together and secure them with a paper clip. You want to set that aside and then we're going to make the notebook cover. So I'm using craft foam and this is a 3 by 5 centimeter rectangle. I'm actually going to cut it in half and mark down three holes and using a really small hole puncher, I'm going to punch out the holes. Then you want to do the same thing for the back side of the cover. And then once that's done, you're going to make the holes for the pages. So again, I'm just going to put the cover on top, mark down the holes, and punch it using a hole puncher. Now to bind this notebook together, you're going to need jump rings. And as you can see here, I'm just putting the notebook cover, the pages, and then the front side, and I'm going to close the jump ring. So you can find jump rings at like any craft store. These are actually used for jewelry, but it's going to be perfect to make a miniature notebook. So at this point, we have our notebook and it's so small and so cute. So you can decorate this however you like. I'm using acrylic paint here and I'm going to paint half of the cover using some pink. And then I'm going to draw a little panda at the corner. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you may have seen my other miniature notebook videos. Um, so if you need like inspiration for designs, you can check them out. I will have links in the description box. And here is the miniature notebook all completed. Next up, I'm going to make a miniature backpack. So for this, again, I'm going to be using craft foam. And here I have the backpack template and I will have a link for this in the description box as well. So you wanna go ahead and trace out the shape. Once that's done, you want to go ahead and cut it. Okay. 
this piece is going to be the front and the back so we also need the side and it should be wide enough like I'm showing you here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the center and this is where I'm going to glue the zipper So here we have the zipper and I'm going to glue that using some hot glue. You want to cut off any extra fabric and now we're going to glue this. So this is the part that I find the trickiest because it's kind of easy to mess up. So you want to do this very very slowly um, and if it's not perfect you don't have to worry about it because we are going to add like some yarn at the sides so that it looks very clean. So I have some yarn here and I'm going to just glue that on to the edges and again this is just to make it look clean um, because it kind of looks messy right now so this is how we're gonna hide it. Here you can see me opening up the backpack. It is so small and so, so cute. So you can decorate this however you like. I'm going to make this a Melissa backpack. If you've been watching my channel for a really long time, you may know who Melissa is. Okay, so I've made the design and now to add the straps at the back, I'm going to cut a little slot and I have two pieces of craft foam here that I'm going to pop in. This is kind of a hard step to explain, but like you can see what I'm doing. So once you kind of like pop them in, you want to glue it from the back. And again, I'm doing the same thing for the bottom. And there is your super cute miniature backpack all completed. The last thing I'm going to show you how to make is a miniature pencil holder. So here I have a wide straw and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece of it. To seal the bottom of the straw on a piece of parchment paper, I'm going to spread out some hot glue. Then I'm going to put the straw on top. You want to let it dry completely and then you want to peel it off. Using my pair of scissors here, I'm cutting off any extra glue. And there's like pretty much your pencil holder. You can decorate it however you like. I'm gonna make a watermelon design.
And there is your miniature pencil holder all completed. It's so small and so, so cute. Um, and that is it for today's video. Let me know in a comment down below which DIY was your favorite. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.